Just looks like a lot of junk to me, George. There was nothing of interest. I'm glad it's there for me to examine. It was a plastic crate. I already know I've got to use this on this. I've got to. See, it was easy. I lifted the cover to reveal what smelt like the entrance to a sewer. Why, why am I going down there? It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. Ah, uh, the French. They do have a particularly pungent odour. Well, let's go down then. Good job I opened that, otherwise that uh, cat may have starved to death. Dreadful thought. As I picked up the plastic ball, I realized it was intended to be worn. Hmm. It was the clown's red nose. Now oh, well, we know who's been this way then. The nose was hollow. Printed on the inside were the words La Rise du Monde Paris. It was a bright red plastic nose. Part of a clown's costume. Let's move on. I scooped up the sodden tissue. It was cold and greasy, like breakfast leftovers. So why are we picking it up? I took hold of the scrap of material and unsnagged it from the spike. This assassin was very careless. It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. It was the scrap of material I'd found in the sewer. Okay. Uh, Hi there. Hold it right there, you. You sewer rat. <laughs> I knew you'd come back. And now I've got you. What are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there. Immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. Give me your hand. <laughs> ha! You won't catch me with tricks like that. Keep Fair your enough. distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, what were you looking for? Um, who are they? Let, let's just say a clown. I was looking for a clown. Ha! Huh. Ridiculous. Do you really expect me to believe that? He planted a bomb in the cafe and blew it up. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon dieu. Does no one have that a sense of awful. hearing? And you say the person responsible was dressed as a clown? That's right. He blew up the cafe, escaped into the sewer, changed his clothes, and came up here. Ah, mon dieu. And then, the man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are one and the same? I do. Well, yes, it had crossed my mind. Ah. That still does not explain what you are doing down the sewer. For all I know, you are in league with him. Oh no, I'm just a tourist. <laughs> Most tourists are content with the Eiffel Tower, the Louvre, or the Pigalle. I didn't realize my waste pipes were such an attraction. What can I say? Um... Uh, I just like sewers. Uh, I love it. I love swimming in raw sewage. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? He was a typical criminal type. <laughs> just like you. Now, just to stop a second, I think uh, this itself would make for an interesting mystery for a role-playing game. There you go, you've got your basic premise. A clown blows up a cafe. Find out why. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she Ooh, doesn't is hurt, is she? No, she's fine. Oh, thank heavens. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you roaming the streets. Can't you understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. Hm. Ah, that's what you say. 
Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, he doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm gonna find the guy responsible. I'll find him. Even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Bravo! Ah, you need some sensible boots. You won't get far in those uh, stupid sneakers. Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? I, I, I didn't notice. Uh, now are you going to leave, or do I have to call the police? Let's see what else we can ask him about in our inventory. This is what I used to open the manhole cover. Just as I thought. You are up to no good down those sewers, weren't you? One slip and I would have been up to my neck. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my card? Mm -hmm. What is this? Inspector Augustin Rosso? What does that say? Hominoid Division? A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. Then you are not a tourist. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you. And I'm sorry. Don't apologize, monsieur. You know, I had a feeling there was something different about you. Oh, yes. It is your posture, your your poise. Oh, ducky. Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And uh, I should know. I was in the army, you know. I disciplined when many I was a man. Your age, I was fighting for my life in the African desert. Uh, how can I help you, Inspector? Maybe you could tell me more about this bloody clown. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> he was a mean one, monsieur. He grabbed me in an arm lock. His face, suddenly next to mine, his grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. Oh no! He made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? <laughs> you, you, you can't suspect her, surely. Just answer the question, please. Yes, uh, I know her quite well, you could say. Uh, she came to work at the cafe oh, uh, six, uh, seven months ago. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Good, really? Lord. So you'd miss her if she wasn't there? Oh, <laughs> mais oui. Who else would I find to cut my toenails? Sick Francais type. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No. It was the guy you saw... Why, yes. Oh, now he, he remembers. Was. Clutched in his arms like a baby. That belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know. But the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, monsieur. Take a look at this false nose. Aha! Uh -huh. That looks like a clown's nose to me. Precisely. He must have dropped it in his panic. Unless he wanted you to find it. Why would he want to do that? To put you off the scent. Good point, but I... Uh, seeing as we've only ever seen him as a clown, I don't see how it would. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing, monsieur. It's uh, disgusting. Oh, uh, I did find it in a sewer. What on earth possessed you to show it to me? Someone has emptied their nostrils into it. Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Ah, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I'd recognize that pattern anywhere. Now, about the jacket you found. Do you have it here? No, monsieur. One of the sleeves was badly torn, so I sent it for repair. <laughs> a pity, because otherwise it was a fine piece of quality tailoring. It had the tailor's name inside uh -huh, on the label. we're going somewhere. Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant Romani seamstress. Just my luck. Was there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm -hmm. Not a sou. You know what I think? Do tell me. Mm -hmm. He changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. It would make mm. sense. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. 
Charge link, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one, monsieur. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74980859. You're kidding. That's his phone number? Yes, that's it. A little trick with numbers that I learned in the desert. I was taught the technique by a Tuareg shaman. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. Uh, do I get a reward? Honesty, monsieur, is its own reward. Then I'm glad I do not rely on honesty to pay the bills. Never a true word spoken. I have to be going. Thanks to your help, the citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Vraiment? I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. Now I'll show myself out. I'm guessing this is the way to go. So ah. the clown had escaped into the sewer, come up into the courtyard, and then slipped back into the street here. Now, it wasn't much, but it was more than the cops had got. Well, with that being done, said, and uh, do you mind if I don't? Actually, we'll head on. Where can we go? Café de la Chandelle Verte, that's where we are right now. There's the Arc de Triomphe, the Eiffel Tower. And uh, where are we going? Post the police. Well, actually, you know what? We can still use the phone to ring that tailor, Todrick. Hello? Who is this? Hi. My name's George Stobart. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart. I don't. What can I do for you? Well, I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No. No. That's not possible. Oh, okay. Suspicious. Uh, forget it. Listen, all I want is a name. What are you talking about? Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. And the American oh, way. Thank God. I thought you were the police. There are innocent lives at stake, Mr. Todrick. Lives that you could save. You're collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. Do you know a guy called Plantar? No. I never heard of him. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? I told you. I never heard of Plantar. I expect Plantar's a family man, don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. George seems Junior to be taking is waiting for his daddy to come home from work. Pleasure he can't wait to show him the merit marks he earned in school today. Only uh. tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy. Huh? The faithful puppy dog. Waiting for the sound of his master's voice. Well, maybe they don't have a dog. What do you think? I don't know, Plantar. I never heard of Plantar. None of this has anything to do with me. What do you know about the clown who bombed the Café de la Chandelle Vert? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Bad Todrick. English. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you be, but sure I am. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, this is ridiculous. Quit playing games with me, Todrick. I tell you, I know nothing about no clown. Thanks for nothing, Todrick. Hmm. And how are we, Nico? Now that we know a bit more. Hello, Nico Kula. Hello, it's George. Ah, oh, oui. Uh. You said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the clown. And I know where the killer gets his suits. No kidding. Hey, I'm impressed. You are? Well, it wasn't easy. Luke, why don't you come here to my apartment later this afternoon? Oh. Uh, fine. Where do you live? Nice offer. 361 Rue Jarry. Okay, I'll come over. Not bad. I was used to working alone, but I had to admit it felt good with George on the case too. But there were some things I was going to have to do alone, and fast. I needed the answers to some questions. Who was the costume killer? And why did he murder Carchon? Why did Carchon ask for me to interview him? 
How did he know my father? And why was my editor so scared? There was some kind of secret war going on out there. But who was on which side? One thing I did know. I wasn't going to get the answer sitting at my desk. I think that every time I sit down on my PC. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm not going to get anything out of it. Hmm, okay. Well, there's lots of things we can do around here. You have no messages. Depressing. It was a photograph of my father, the first one I ever took, with the first camera he ever bought me. Oh. Oh, that's a very uncomfortable chair, by the looks of it. What am I doing? Writing? Dear diary, I appear to be talking to myself. Dear diary, I'm now getting up to look at ornaments that I place on shelves. I suppose that's what you're supposed to do with ornaments. You know, you buy them, you put them on a shelf, you never My quite first examine teddy. them again. Never had a boyfriend as loyal as him. What do I keep in my hope chest? The box was carved by my father. It never had a key. The elephant on the lid was a perfect match to Cochon's. Hmm. Well, we say it never had a key. Come on, work. All right. The box of the elephant on the... Hmm, I wonder why I can't seem to use these things in connection with each other. Very strange. Okay, well, that'll be something to revisit, I feel. Let's go out. Hit the road. Mamsel Collard. Oh, hello there. Don't tell me. I'm going to meet a tall, dark man. No, I don't think so. Why would you say that? Oh, just a wild guess. Anyway, your cousin's female and very pretty. What? Your cousin from Marseille. How could you forget her so soon? She was only in your apartment yesterday. Ah, oh, really? Such a charming young girl. Isn't she? And in my apartment, you say? She let herself in, of course. She's got a key. Suddenly, everything made sense. My apartment had been bugged. That was how Plantard knew all about my article. How did I know? Because the only cousin I have is a sweet little guy called Jean-Marc, who owns a patisserie in Le Touquet. These people were determined, which meant they were also very dangerous. Your French accent occasionally slips, Nico. I suppose she'd forgotten which apartment was mine. Oh, Miss Collard, you're a mind reader. That's just what she said. Oh, I bet it was. Well, I'd better be going. See what my sweet cousin's been getting up to. Au revoir, mademoiselle. Hmm, well. Let's... Where else can we go to? We can go to the cafe or Rougerie. Is that where we are now? Or the, or, well, do we need to go back to the Carchon residence? Let's go to the Carchon residence first. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Can I ask what you're doing? I am guarding the scene of a terrible and heinous crime. Yeah, this statue. Tell me about it. Au contraire, mademoiselle, this statue <laughs> is a pure and visionary statement, a comment upon man's self-imposed isolation within a debased societal framework. Not a crime, then. The only crime you will find here is the murder of the great Monsieur Carchon. No. How dramatic. I know. Here in this very building, no less, 
It is top secret, but according to Cachon's wife, the killer was dressed as a man. Police believe there was an accomplice, a young female journalist. Even as we speak, she is being hotly pursued up and down the land. No stone is being left unturned. Good place to look for a journalist, officer. We police are no fools. Evidently. How was Monsieur Cachon killed? He was shot in cold blood with a gun. As opposed to Why a was he dressed as a man? I have my own theory. Either he was mad, oh. or he was a real mime, trying to throw us all off the scent by cunningly not wearing a disguise. That would be How quite long have cunning. you been in the police force? All my life, mademoiselle. It shows. Thank you. You must be quite an aficionado of modern art. Au contraire, I adore it. In fact, I double myself. Oh, really? I used to double myself, but I managed to quit in the end. Why would a man kill Monsieur Carchon? He was a hired killer, I expect. Everybody knows mimes don't leave prints. Monsieur? Mademoiselle? Oh, I can ask him about these things again. In further detail. How was Monsieur Carchon? He was shot. Why was... I have my... Oh. Or... How long have you... Call my... It's shit. Thank you. Hmm. Um, no. I'd be crazy to show him. Ever see symbols like these? Only at the bottom of a bottle, mademoiselle. Ha! You see what I did there? I always find a little humor breaks the ice at the crime scene. Don't you agree? I knew better. Ever seen one of these? Not since I was a boy. My father taught me how to whittle using a metal cylinder like that. I bet that kept you quiet. Indeed it did. I'd never talk to him again. He died before I did. <laughs> How would you like a nice air clip like this? I must warn you, mademoiselle, that I have been trained to resist such improper advances. What do you think of my elephant? Hmm. A poor piece, to be honest. Derivative. Crude. Forget about it. Oh, really? I was just wondering where I should stick it. Hmm. Somewhere that doesn't get much light? That's just what I was thinking. Um, no. Ever seen anything like this? Oh, that's good. That's very good. You have talent, my dear. This is clearly your medium. Well, you do flatter me. Take a look at the shell case. My god! This must be from the gun that killed him! Are you sure? I think it is from an army field gun. Ah, yes, of course. The size, that's the giveaway, isn't it? What do you think of this boat ticket? Mademoiselle, if you think taking me on a boat trip down the Seine is going to get me into bed with you, then you are mistaken. I have been trained to resist women offering boat tickets, and men, too. We are up to date on gender issues, you know. Well, it's good to know that the French police are fully up on these sorts of things. How do I get out of this conversation? Ah, uh, uh, no, I just clicked on the wrong thing. Um, da -da -da -da. Why wouldn't he... he me oh. Okay. Can I go inside, do you think? That's like a giant zip. I would be obliged if you did not touch the art, mademoiselle. Just your average modern... It makes you wonder why the assassin brought a ladder with him when he could have just climbed up that. But at any rate, I need to go and eat something, so I will now save the game. And, uh, what? I wonder what, uh, oh, we're apparently 18% in already. Good God, we're making fast progress. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you tune in for the next exciting edition of Broken Sword, Shadow of the Templars, Director's Cut.